Hey, what's up guys? Joe here coming at you today with a guide geared specifically towards the slowest, but probably the most devastating troop in the game, the balloon. And as we watch these replays of these guys that have clearly mastered the art of air attacking, uh, we normally find ourselves in awe at uh, how easy they make it look. And a lot of times we kind of try to figure out which is probably more of a better approach to attack a base, whether it's air or ground or a combination of both. And uh, really it all just starts with the basics and understanding your troops and what they do exactly and where they go and the level and strength of them and so on and so forth. So today's video format is going to be a little bit different than what I've done before. Uh, we're going to start out by discussing the levels really quick and what town hall levels they are available at. And then we're going to talk about the defensive weaknesses as well as the offensive uses, talk about the pathing really fast. And then we're also going to review a couple of current strategies or common strategies that are being uh, done to three star these bases. We have to keep in mind that it doesn't you know, come to us naturally on every single attack. Just because we watch a video doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to be able to do it right away, including myself. So it takes a lot of practice and understanding of your troops and timing and so on and so forth. A lot of practice in order to be successful. And with the game's current meta being so focused on ground, a lot of these bases have given up the air defenses and uh, given up the opportunities for a well-executed air attack. And what we have to do is be able to be versatile and transfer over and understand our troops. And hopefully you pick up something, some of that out of this video today in order to start practicing these things yourselves and uh, be able to orchestrate attacks like what's being seen here. Uh, the base designs one of the, you know, a lot of those funky looking anti three star layouts, but they're really derived towards stopping the ground game. So why not air them? So let's go ahead and get cracking into the levels. Uh, the first level of balloon is offered at Town Hall 4 followed by the uh, level 2 that is also available at Town Hall 4 as well. And as it transitions through, the level 3s are available at Town Hall 6, and then also the level 4s will be available at Town Hall 7. Uh, level 5 is available at Town Hall 8, and then the level 6 is available obviously at Town Hall 9 with a level 7 lab and the level 7's are available at Town Hall 11. Let's go ahead and take a look at the defensive weaknesses for the balloon, starting with the most obvious ones, the air defense. Uh, puts it down pretty quick. And then the air sweeper, which causes more of a hindrance other than causing direct uh, damage to the troop itself. And the balloon can get in there and take it out fairly easy. Uh, the air bombs do damage to the balloons about halfway, and then the seeking air mine will take it out immediately like seen there and we'll go ahead and give that one more go so you can see that a little bit up close and personal seeking air mine takes it out immediately followed by the skeleton traps set on the air mode they will take out balloons fairly quick as if they're not t tended to and then we're going to follow that up with the archer queen as most people would know the archer queen will take out your group of balloons fairly quick if you allow her to stay alive then that following that would be the clan castle troops, which uh, archers, minions, wizards, and other dragons, baby dragons, will take out balloons fairly quick. And we'll get a little bit more up close and personal as these clan castle troops pull out uh, once another balloon is dropped onto the map for you to see this happen really quick if these troops are not tended to. Uh, followed by that would be the ranged point defense in the archer tower. High rate of fire will take out the balloons fairly quick before it ever actually drops its bomb just to how slow it is and then the splash damage from the wizard tower uh, does substantial damage to the balloons but the balloon can take it out faster than the wizard tower is going to do to it followed by that will be the hidden tesla hidden tesla does uh, an extreme amount of damage to the balloon and will take it out before the balloon ever actually reaches it and then followed by that would be the Expo set on the air ground mode. Expos will take out your balloons very quickly if you don't tend to them or have something blocking for them. Followed by that would be the Inferno Tower. This is on multi-target, so it's not doing as much damage as a single target. And the balloons can get in there and sustain and take out the Inferno Tower fairly quick due to their high damage per second. And then followed by that for the Town Hall 11, the Grand Warden does attack and they do attack the Grand Warden and will take it out just like any other defense. Eagle Artillery attacks balloons as well, but you have to amp that up and set it off before it actually does attack your troop. On the flip side, the Expo set on the ground mode will not attack your balloons, followed by three other structures that will not hinder your balloons whatsoever, and that's the cannon, mortar, and bomb tower. Uh, those can easily be taken out by balloons without any resistance whatsoever, as these 
three targets are taken out very quick. On the flip side, offense, spells, and pathing, the balloon does two di different forms of damage. Uh, drops a payload, and when it's destroyed, it goes down and explodes, causing splash damage on the target that it's above. Uh, the balloon is a defensive seeking target and included with the uh, lava hound blocking for it. It is very powerful, but it does move very slow on its own. So it cannot be focused on or relied on as a great cleanup troop uh, without the lava pups. And this is also where the spells come into play to assist the balloons. We'll drop our lava hound to block for our balloons, get two or three balloons down per point defense. And then we'll drop that rage spell worth two spell housing, uh, boost both power and speed in order to assist the balloons. And then followed up by that, you have the haste spell that is worth one spell housing. And uh, we'll do basically like a slingshot method. It only boosts the speed of the troop, not its power. And this spell is mainly really handy for the air attacking. Uh, due to the speed of the balloon itself very slow troop uh, but this spell helps them move fairly quick in tight situations and then followed by this we'll look at the pathing of the balloon you'll use your lava hounds to soak up damage and distract while you get your balloons in behind them to take out the point defenses before they even realize they're being attacked and then the balloons will uh, path to the next clo closest uh, defense however they will end up clumping up if you don't have a pretty wide spread on them so this is kind of where the art of attacking comes into play and experience and we'll go ahead and take a look at a couple of these strategies while we have balloons in action this is actually a combination of both ground and air uh, the gobo the golems and bowlers used to take out uh, the clan castle troops and the archer queen maybe one or two air defenses depends on the base design uh, how well it's constructed or how poorly it's constructed and uh, really it just starts out by using the golems and wizards to pad the bowlers into the core of the base along with the heroes rage spell to get the bowlers uh, boosted up and get in there and kind of take out a lot of defenses that could hinder balloons in the process mainly going after the air defenses the archer queen and the clan castle troops if you can ha uh, get all of that and that's where the timing and patience and the experience really comes into play because all these different structures are being taken down and this really poor base design uh three air defenses have been taken out or almost three the third one's about to go down before the attacker even gets his lava uh, hounds down onto the map dropping two to three balloons behind per defense and this attacker knows that his balloons are going to all group up as they move in on the archer tower and the mortar and he still has a couple of balloons in his queue for uh, the back end using the haste spell to speed up those balloons over the uh, large gap coverage um, and then yeah last two balloons come in take out the last couple of structures uh, but really at this point he has a ton of balloons left over didn't necessarily need all of his haste spells so he kind of just drops those in the core of the base and he still has a lava hound that didn't quite pop so that could have uh, been a bad situation for him if it had been a better base design so in this event actually i see two lava hounds so yeah that's two lava hounds that could have been popped and used for cleanup portion with the lava pups so in that case it's not necessarily the best attack but the use of the uh, balloons in his defense uh, was pretty much spot on so he basically kind of overpowered the base due to his patience and understanding of the pathing of his balloons and what they can take on as long as those uh, lava hounds are in front of them tanking for him picking up the air bombs and picking up the seeking air mines so this is just town hall nine and that's just the gobo la loon uh, we also have the penta la loon that's five hounds this is a town hall 11 attack um, it's also been seen at multiple other town hall levels However, Town Hall 11 is a lot tougher, the defenses are a lot stronger, and a lot of patience and experience needs to be involved here as he uses a Lava Hound to block for that air defense and gets a couple of balloons in there to take it out uh, due to the heavy concentration. Really his main focus here is, is to get rid of a couple of air defenses. He's bringing his uh, Barbarian King in and his Archer Queen to get that second air defense that's up in the northeast. Uh, while that Barbarian King is working, the Archer Queen is taking out uh, gold storage right now, but she will redirect and focus in on that air defense 
as she moves in she kind of bypasses a couple of structures and she takes out the air defense and at this point now he can go ahead and start maneuvering into his uh, air portion of the raid as he brings in his uh, lava hounds from the south followed by a couple of balloons and as you can tell this is a lot different from the previous raid he kind of set up two different uh, empty compartments on the sides of the base both the east northeast and southwest uh, really what this does is causes your balloons to go directly to the core of the base with the assistance of the hay spell as the lava hounds kind of shoot across the entire base picking up the air bombs and seeking air mines as they move throughout the base and dan makes it look very easy by doing this maybe it's just a poor base design but it's really just the experience of the attacker it takes a lot of practice to do this stuff so you got to imagine that dan does this quite a bit as well as some of the attackers in paradox uh, a lot of experience doing the air attacks so they make it look extremely easy when they do it and it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do the attacks the same exact way as what these guys are doing it's just understanding the basics of your balloon so as you see here uh, you have multiple lava pubs scattered throughout the base for the cleanup all the defensive defenses excuse me have been taken down minus that last archer tower that's down the southwest or more direct due west uh, he has a large clumped up group of balloons that are just kind of uh, trying to figure out where to go at this point. But really the cleanup portion of this raid is mainly uh, focused and derived from the lava hounds and lava pups at this point. So you do want your lava hounds to pop uh, for the cleanup portion, but really you need your uh, pathing on the balloons to be planned out and pretty accurate. Hopefully you were able to get a pretty good idea on uh, the balloon itself, the speed, and how to use it, and the things it's certainly weak against. Uh, drop some comments below and let me know what you think, and thanks for watching, guys.